think my friends and strangers alike, like they come into my house and they don't even say anything at first. It's just kind of like the jaw drop. Hey there, welcome to my apartment. This is Summer, an environmentalist, model and author who has over 500 plants in her Brooklyn apartment. So when people come into the house, I like this element of feeling like they're walking through a forest. My friends would always get like whacked in the face with a branch, but I was like, that's the point, you're like walking through the forest. Over the past six years, she has amassed a staggering collection of indoor plants. So many different types of plants. I would say that this is a borderline obsession. So this is my kitchen space and I love it because I love the, the green on the walls and the green plants. This is kind of a, a cool plant. It's called a toothache plant. And if you eat this, it's kind of like getting a shot of Novocaine with a little Szechuan pepper involved. My mom and dad named me like Summer Rain, like a lot of people ask me if that's my real name. And my dad always jokes like, you could have become a porn star or an environmentalist. And uh, this is my couch and just like a little, just like a little place to kind of just come and sit and rest and relax. So this is the place where I kind of like work slash sleep. This is the first plant that started it all. This is my fiddle leaf fig. And I grew up in the country, so it was so natural for me to have like plants in my life. In fact, like I think it's so unnatural not to have plants. In August, I converted this from a closet to a kitchen grow garden. So I have everything from like lemon scented geranium to broadleaf thyme, taro root, Cuban sage, bananas. We have some pineapples. We have some microgreens. This is peppercorn. That's a sweet potato. This is actually what the little slip of the sweet potato will eventually grow into. And you can actually even see the sweet potato starting to pop out of the soil. So that will probably be ready for picking in about a month's time, which is totally cool. Summer typically spends around $100 a month on plants and 30 minutes a day taking care of them. It's hard to walk into a plant shop without wanting to buy a plant. It's tough. Yeah, she's in here all the time. She's always buying plants or pots or dirt. And it's not just money and time that she invests in her ever-growing collection. This is kind of like wacky, but I started to um, read one of these books and it talked about like plants and music. And wouldn't you know that plants do have a preference for different kinds of music? And I thought that was like pretty cool. So they prefer Vedic chants and then it goes into classical music. Then it goes into rock music. And then it goes into heavy metal. <laughs> and then it goes into no music. So I thought like, whoa, super trippy. But then at the end of the day, like they're living, breathing creatures. And you know, what's great about them is that they don't like talk back. Now that I found out that plants enjoy the music too, then I, I do play it a little bit louder than before. I don't really talk to my plants in that kind of way. Although eh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'll pass by and I'll like touch a leaf. There'll definitely be like kind of loving energy. And Summer plans to carry on expanding her plant empire into the future. So how I would like to carry this on in the future would probably be getting a plot of land in the community garden, continuing gardening, and inspiring others to get their garden on. I mean, I think the new cat lady is the, is the plant lady. <laughs> I'm gonna be that crazy plant lady when I get older. I'm already the crazy plant lady.